Hello and welcome to Midas Tech. This tutorial will outline how to use Andy Pope's Ribbon Editor. My name is Jeremy Gay from Midas Tech International. Midas Tech can be contacted via stepheng at midastech.net. Andy Pope's Ribbon Editor is able to be used to enhance a variety of Microsoft programs. We will be focusing on Excel. The Ribbon Editor allows for development of the ribbon using a simpler, more user-friendly framework than other XML editors. It creates and edits an internal Excel file called customue14.xml. It allows for numerous preset icons and allows users to integrate their own icons. Here we have an example ribbon interface that we have created through the ribbon editor. This interface is where applications from Midas Tech are run from. In this tutorial, we will discuss and introduce the ribbon interface. We will give an example of using the ribbon editor and also explain how to access the custom UE14.xml file. We have used custom UI14.xml over custom UI.xml for a few reasons. Custom UI14.xml is the XML file where all the information about the ribbon is contained. However, one can still use custom UI.xml as both files are potentially internal to Excel files. It is expected that because custom UI14.xml is the latest version that it will have a longer life. Hence, in this presentation, we focus on custom UI14.xml. However, it is still useful for custom UI.xml. There is precious little guidance on these formats via the internet. Custom UI14 is only applicable to Excel 2010 and beyond. We have opened Excel and previously installed the Ribbon Editor. The Ribbon Designer can be found under the Developer tab here. It provides the option for a loader and a designer. We will use the loader as we are just looking at a macro we've already designed. We then press on Load Custom UI 14 Ribbon X. We will use the MM App V1 macro. Now we are looking at the Ribbon Editor window. This of course contains any default tabs from Excel, as well as tabs we have created. The MMA tab is the tab we have created, which within it has several groups and buttons. We will create a new group under MMA. This is done by pressing on MMA, then group, then the right arrow. This creates a group called group 9. Under properties, then label, we will change the name to test group. Now under test group, we will make a button by pressing the test group, then the button, then the right arrow. Again, under Properties Label, we will name it Test Button. We can also add an image or icon by pressing the ellipsis under Image. And we already have an image here, which we will use. But you can also add your own images or icons by pressing Browse. We press OK, and then save the changes. Now if we open up the macro that we were editing, we will see the changes that we made. There is a test button under test group with the image we set. 
There is also the ability to view the XML file with all of the information on the ribbon. This is done by going back into the custom UI 14 window and pressing the custom UI XML tab. Here we can see all of the tabs and information on the tabs. This includes tabs, groups, buttons, and on actions as well. Here at the bottom we have the one that we created. Alternatively, we can also access the XML file by finding this backup of the macro that was created by the ribbon editor. By changing the extension to a zip file, we'll be able to access the XML file. Now within the zip file, in the folder custom UI, there is the custom UI 14.xml document. We will copy this out of the zip folder then into another folder. This way it will be able to be edited. So if you open with the notepad, you can view the XML file and edit wherever you wish. Once it has been edited, it can simply be copied back into the zip file. Going back to the custom UI 14 window, there is also an important feature to assign macros to buttons. We will use the fast format button. Click on the button, then go to callbacks. Here you can select on action. Then put the name of the macro that you want to be run when the button is pressed. This also needs to be called in the macro itself using I ribbon control. You can download the Midas Tech Applications ribbon interface, which was used as a demonstration in this video and Andy Pope's ribbon designer from the following sites. AndyPope.info is where you can get the ribbon editor as a free download. Some further development may occur as there are some minor issues. Our interface is available at MidasTech.Cells.com, mainly developed for our flow sheet and mineral processing applications.